Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. For y'all that don't know, for y'all that do know, my name is Ashley and I'm back with another video. So, from the title of this video, you can clearly see that today I'm talking about keeping your peace all of 2021. This is my first video of the new year. Thank you guys, happy new year, you know, all that good stuff. I hope you guys had a very Merry Christmas and all that jazz. Um, but yeah, 2021, we're not doing the same stuff we was doing in 2020. 2020 is, is we're not talking about 2020 anymore, okay? So we're doing bigger and better things in 2021, you hear me? So with that being said, I have a couple of gems that I'm dropping for you guys today, you know what I mean? And I just hope that you guys actually get something from it. I've been told that I give pretty decent advice. When I tell people things, it's always coming from a place of love and understanding and compassion. So yeah, so I'm sharing these things with you all because they have actually been on my mind for like weeks at this point. Like, I can't even explain to you, like these things have been on my heart. So that's why I'm making the video so I can share it. So, excuse my hands, I talk with my hands. If you're new here, thank you guys for subscribing. And before I actually get into my gems that will be dropped, make sure you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. I want you to smash the subscribe button. You heard me and comment if you like the gems that i'm dropping or if you have additional gems while i'm talking you know what i mean and um i don't know why i'm saying that now but i've been saying that for like the last couple of weeks now i mean or whatever um don't ask me why and don't be offended if that's like your accent i don't know where it came from but i'm gonna keep doing it okay so yeah let me jump into it number one learn how to say no Learning how to say no is definitely something that's easier said than done. But at the end of the day, you have to learn your limits. You have to learn things that you should do, things that you shouldn't do, things that you can do, things that you can't do. And you have to learn how to set your boundaries with every situation, every relationship, what those boundaries are. And you have to learn how to say no. Otherwise, people are going to run you ragged. Your job is going to run you ragged. You're always going to be saying yes, people. You're going to end up stretching yourself thin. And then you're going to get to a point where you're trying to help everybody a little bit. And then because you're trying to help this person, this person, this person, this person, and this person, you can't help none of them because you spread yourself too thin. So now you let this one down, then you let this one down, then you let this one down, then you let this one down. Now everybody upset, everybody mad at you, you feel like crap. And who wants to deal with that? Learn how to say no. Help this one and then help that one next week. These two, gotta, they got to figure it out. And that's it. Okay, number two, free time. Free time does not equal being available. So what I mean by that is when you get off work at say five o'clock, you technically have free time between five, five, 15 to like 9, 30, 10, 11 o'clock or whatever. And this is if you're not a parent, parents get no free time. But like if you, you know, young, you single, you ain't got no kids, from the time you get off work to the time you decide you go to bed, that is technically free time. But just because that is technically free time does not mean that you're, you have to make yourself available to other people during that time. You can absolutely use your free time and be like, I'm not available for whatever the f it is that you want me to do. No, I'm not. At all. No. You know, going into number one, learn how to say no. I'm not available for that. I'm going to be in my house, watching my Netflix, eating my chips, enjoying my space. Fair enough? Yes, 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 yes. Everybody says yes, yes. Just because you don't have something scheduled 
doesn't mean that all of like like your entire schedule doesn't have to be blocked off with things to do you can block off space that is free time and that's exactly what it is it's free time that's not availability free time does not equal availability those are different make that make that different distinct in your life make that distinct in your relationships especially with your friends because they feel like oh you off work you can come do this no i can't i'm enjoying my space in my crib by myself my free time this is not my availability i'm not available no this is what i'm doing okay make that a distinction if you want to keep your peace, you won't let your free time be your free time and let your availability be your availability. Okay? Okay. Three, be honest. Be honest is very big. I'm aware. I'm aware. But what I mean is you have to be so forthcoming that what you just said is not up for debate. It's not up for questioning or anything. So like, let me give you an example. I mean, granted it's COVID and stuff. So this this example is pre-COVID, but your friend is having like a birthday party or your, your associate, your coworker or somebody is having a birthday party and they want you to go. So you say, they're like, hey, hey, hey. Hey, Ashley, can you, you want to come to my party? We're going to have, you know, drinks. We're going to have some friends over. Da, da, da. You should come. It's going to be fun. And then you're like, I'm going to answer is me. Because like I told y'all, I'm, you better get this work. Um, no, mm -mm. what I would say is, you know what? I'm not going to lie to you. You said Friday, right? Yeah, I didn't have any plans on Friday, and um, I kind of wanted it that way. So, I'm going to pass. I'll get you something nice, you know, a little something, something before you go home on Friday. Like, maybe I'll, I'll buy you lunch on Friday because I can't make it. But, um, yeah, I'm not... No, that wasn't really my plan. Thank you, though. But I wasn't, I, want, I needed, I need some some time to myself. That was my Friday night plan. I was going to be in the house, you know what I'm saying? Chilling and stuff. A party was not it. But you have fun, though. Mm -hmm. Enjoy that, for sure. Right? You have to be honest with these people. Because I just told them, I'm not coming, first of all. Second of all, I didn't want to go because I didn't plan for it to go. And you wait till Tuesday, Wednesday, the week before to ask me. So you asked me too late. And then I told him what my plans were. I'm going to be in my house, cozy, eating my chips, minding my business, enjoying my space. Okay? That ain't up for debate. You can't question me nothing. That's what I want to do. And I told you what it is. You have to be honest with people. If you don't want to do something, you have to let them know that you don't want to do it. Don't be mean. Don't be a jerk. Don't be rude. Don't be like that. That's not nice. No. But you got to tell them how you, you got to tell them what you was trying to do and what you wasn't trying to do. Like, be honest, period. Like, people always want to save their feelings. Forget their feelings. They be all right. They grown. It's not no baby. They be, they will be okay. Ain't nobody, ain't nothing. Nah, they be all right. Tell them no. Tell, be honest about how you, I mean, and if it's not, if the answer's not no, just be honest about it. You had something else planned. They asked you too late. They be all right. All right, number four is to reflect. Reflecting is a big deal. Self-reflection is a big deal. If you want to keep your peace in all of 2021, you have to have some self-reflection. And a good question that I've been asking myself, and I've actually been learning to do this in 2020, or I started learning to do this in 2020, um, in like beginning stages or whatever. I've had, 
some really bad reactions to some really minor things, right? And I really had to ask myself, like, why did you react that way? Of all of the ways that you could have reacted and all of the things that could have happened or could have been done or that you could have said, why did you react that way? And then I had to think about what my reaction was and what it actually stemmed from. So I've been watching Ayala Van Zandt. I'm sure y'all know about her and, you know, Fix My Life and some of her talks and the language and the vocabulary that she says and that she has given me to describe some of my feelings and some of my actions and reactions is crazy. Like you don't learn that language to actually do healing in your day-to-day -day life. So when it comes to self-reflection, first of all, I would suggest you go watch and you go read some Ayana Van Zandt. If it's fixed my life and you learn it through other people's problems because that's what I do, don't judge me, okay? I have to see it through other people before I can see it in myself. Don't judge me. I know that. I know it's not good, but I'm aware. So I'm working. Mind your business. That's my business. Okay. Anyway, watch Ayanna Van Zant. Get a journal. I just bought a journal yesterday, actually. I'm lying. I bought it today. And I'm going to start doing that tomorrow. So I'm really excited about that. So y'all are not alone in the healing process and the self-reflection. But you need to do that because if not, you're just going to be walking, don't know. You're going to be walking through 2021 and not realizing the dirty, nasty trail that you're leaving behind you because you're not paying attention to the stuff that you're doing. And you don't need that. You don't need to do that. You don't want to leave a dirty trail in your interactions with people. You have to figure out what you've got going on. You know what I mean? Number five. Number five, take your self-care seriously. That is the big deal. And I actually don't do that myself and I really, really need to. But when it comes to your self-care, that's such a big part of your well-being that you really need to take pride in that, that you really need to take time and plan that for yourself. Don't just say, oh, I'm gonna have a self-care day. And it's two o'clock on this day and you're like, I'm going to do it for like two hours. And then like you didn't plan it. You didn't set aside time for you to be stress free. You know what I mean? Like you got to take your self-care seriously because nobody else is going to take your self-care more seriously than you are. So if you're letting yourself run until you're exhausted and people just keep asking you they don't know. You didn't say nothing. How are they supposed to know? You can't be mad at them. You have to you have to make sure that you're putting your well-being as a priority. You have to make it a priority and we're making ourselves priorities all of 20 I don't know how this is going to be mirrored. 21. <laughs> Oh my god y'all i'm tired those is really the gems that i got for y'all today i hope you got something from it you know because when it comes to keeping your peace baby ain't nobody else ain't nobody making your peace a priority you have to make your peace a priority you know what i'm saying like if you don't do it who do you think is gonna do it nobody Nobody's going to do it. If you don't do it, nobody's going to do it. So bottom line, like, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that you guys took something from it. If you did, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Make sure you like it. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. Subscribe. I will see you all in my next video. Peace.